我们这两天早上的孩子论坛呢，分成六个主题，有二十四个来自台湾，还有来自海外的精彩故事即将要登场了。我们今天的第一个主题呢，要跟大家谈的是主动学习。我们知道超级英雄都有 I can 的力量。那么在解决问题的过程当中，除了发现问题之外，也知道了自己还需要学习哪一些能力来解决问题。所以说，主动学习将所学应用在生活当中，增加主动学习的动机。So for the first theme this morning, we will be sharing stories about active learning. 我们接下来就将时间交给两位主持人。Let me now turn the floor over to our two hosts. Singapore is a multicultural country. Mostly are Chinese, Malays, and Indians. Looks like you know that about Singapore. Let me give you a quiz. Do you know who Brunegans are? Of course I do. They are half Chinese and half Malays. That's right. And the culture of Brunegans is very unique. There are five students from Yami Primary School. And they found some students from low-income families want to know more about their art and culture. So they try to promote Museum of Brunegans to solve this problem. Let's welcome Pichu, Napoleon, Zia, Evelyn, Sherry, and Danica to share their story. <laughs> We go for outdoor learning journeys together with our school. I noticed that not many of my friends have the experiences that I had. Some of my friends' parents hardly bring them out, and I realized that they usually come from the low-income families. I begin to learn how to be grateful to what I have and what my parents have provided me with. Not every family is able to provide that kind of opportunity for their children. We also notice that in Singapore, there are many 
interesting and educative places. So why not we start off by interacting and bringing them out? That's when we decided on the Paranakan Museum. The Paranakan culture is part of our unique heritage. There was even a 40-episode drama series on it. We thought it would be interesting for them to see and experience the different Paranakan artifacts. If you look at the costume that Denisha is wearing right now, it's the traditional Paranakan costume. To me, I really learned to feel for others and to believe that I can make a difference. We tend to take things for granted, but through this process, I realized that not everything comes easy for everyone. We may complain over the slightest things and focus on the shortcomings rather than appreciating all the things around us. To me, to develop the attitude of gratitude is the biggest learning. On top of that, to be able to put a smile on people's faces make our efforts worthwhile. Throughout the process, not only did we deepen our own knowledge of our rich culture, I also learned how to plan for an outdoor learning experience. I never knew that there were so many considerations that we have to take note of. The time, the tour route, the speech, the facilitation skills, the interesting artifacts, and most importantly, on how to make it interesting. That has to be the interaction with the low-income students in our school. We prepared some games to interact with them prior to the museum trip so that we can understand them better. I was happy that they opened up to us rather easily and we had a fun time together. During the trip, we were able to communicate really well and at the end of the tour, we also surprised our friends with little bags of blessings in which we had prepared prior to our trip. We filled the bags of blessings with stationeries and snacks that our buddies had mentioned during our first interaction with them. We incorporated the Pranakan team in the bag design and these goodie bags were presented to our newfound friends at the end of the learning journey. The Bags of Blessings was also our way to provide these students with the essential stationery they needed for school. We could see their faces light up when they, see, when they received the goodie bags and found some of the things that they had wished for in it. It was a great feeling knowing that we had made someone's day through our simple actions. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Now we need to walk here. Everyone, when I count to three, please say. Ren Wu Cheng Gong. It means mission accomplished in Mandarin. One, two, three. Ren Wu Cheng Gong.